Hello, everybody. I'm Rob Lopes. I'm the tire scientist on the six. Um, I've been in the sport longer than I care to remember. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this is my 27th season in Cup. This is my fourth with Roush. Uh, Nate McGuire, tire specialist on the number 17 Cup card. Uh, this is my first year at Roush Fenway Racing. My job at the track is strictly tires. I have very little time to help with the car under these rules and regulations that we're in and the schedule that we're on. Sometimes on TV, you know, you'll hear the, the fall off, you know, the you know, leaders were running a 2980. Now they're running a 31, 31 flat or, um, and you can tell just by, you know, the driver's hands, you know, a lot of the times they'll, they'll zoom into the driver's hands coming off the corner and they're working it and they're, their throttle trace, you know, if they're, if they're babying it, getting back on the gas or not. Um, and then you could also look at, you know, if the, the track's gaining rubber. You know, if it's, they'll talk about the track's gaining rubber or it's not or it's not taking any rubber. Um, a lot of times a cold track sometimes won't take as much rubber and stuff like that. So you just kind of it's all it's all, you know, temperature and race condition and track condition. There's a lot. There's a few racetracks on the circuit right now in our series that we run that are very I, I, I call them tire readers. You know, it's really weather pavement. Older pavement tends to be a little rougher, a little more coarse, tends to be a little harder on tires. Uh, we just left one in Homestead. Homestead's very tough on tires. Uh, Atlanta's probably the toughest racetrack on tires. It is very old pavement. It was paved in 97, and it hasn't been paved since. Uh, they had scheduled to pave it, I want to say it was two years ago, and it was determined that that would probably be a huge mistake just because the racing is so good there right now because there's so much tire fall off. And when I say tire fall off, I mean speeds of the race cars from the time they make their first lap on brand new tire stickers. And by the time they take them off either 10 laps, 15, 20, or at the end of a fuel run, uh, there's so much time fall off because the tires wear out so fast. And that is a big thing. It makes the racing a lot. It makes the racing better. It also, should, the drivers that are able to manage their equipment tend to perform better there because they can manage the tires. They're not trying to go run a qualifying fast lap early and burn their stuff up. And then they just fall back through the field because those tires fall off so much, so fast because of the abrasive, the abrasion of the pavement that it's, it's, it's a tire management place and it's hard on tires. And that's one of those tracks that we will go to and you can come in for a pit stop, put tires on, and if the caution comes out 10 laps later, you'll come back and put four more tires on because it means that much. And like I said, the pavement's quite old. Uh, it, it wasn't, like I said, the last time it was paved was when, uh, when the configuration there changed because it used to be a true oval. And it, then it was, cre it was turned into a basically what they call a tri-oval. And that was in 97. And the reason I know all this is because I was there not trying to give away anything, but I've been around a little bit. So um, that place, you, we will use a lot of tires there. I think as far as a count goes, an allotment from Goodyear, I think that is our, I think that is our highest count. I want to say 13 or 14 sets for a race. A lot of the times when you, um, after a, a 30 lap run, let's say, at Atlanta versus, um, let's say Las Vegas, the wear itself, like it's, it's smooth. At, at, at like the Vegas, you can almost kind of run your hand over it and it just feels it's, you know, it's, it's been used. It's hot, it's grippy, but it's just kind of smooth overall. Um, and, uh, like, at, and, and I'm referring to like a, like, like a right front. Um, but like the right front at Atlanta, it'll be chunky and rub pieces of, you know, small pieces of rubber, um, just getting chewed away out of it um, by the abrasive racetrack. Tire wear can tell you a lot about how your car is performing. It can tell you a lot about air pressure, uh, too much, too little. It can tell you about your, it, it obviously tells you about your camber settings, whether you're over cambered or under cambered. If you wear that right front out to where you see the cores, you see the fabric, you might, have, you might have a little too much camber. Um, the other the other thing that goes hand in hand with the tire wear is tire temperature after a stop. Real hot inboard on the right front and very cold outboard means that you're probably over cambered and you're using the inside of that tire too much and the wear will show that. But you're also, again, you're also looking at 
all right, we're, we're really wearing out the right front, like we're super tight, even though he's not saying that. So this is something we need to keep in mind as far as, you know, maybe we, maybe we should pit him because in a place like Atlanta, and I'm kind of jumping around here a little bit, a place like Atlanta, you will want tires before you run out of gas. You will not run till the tank's empty at Atlanta. You will come get tires early because you'll want tires before you're out of fuel. So if you start to see that you're wearing that right front out prematurely, you will back up your fuel stop. Instead of running to 10 laps before you're out of gas, you might come back to 15 laps before you're out of gas and bring them in five laps sooner just to ensure that you're not going to hurt that tire to the point where it fails, puts you in the fence, and then you're on the truck because then everybody's day's wrong. 